Okay, boys and girls, so of course today we again started off with our My View 4.1. We continued reading the two poems on here, which is Heavenly and Ultraviolet, Ultraviolet excuse me, on page 346. Um, make sure you read these if you have not done so. Ultraviolet as well on page 347. And then we read the two prose, um, I'm sorry, the prose piece of literature, the two paragraphs, Milkweed and Butterflies, that are on the next two pages. We were able to identify um, the context clues that help us define toxic and also highlight the evidence of um, the ones that that were similar to the similes in ultraviolet in the poem. So right here, we also underlined, of course, the similes, tiny wing scales like Valentine's, delectable blossoms like bullseyes. We circled repetition. We circled um, rhyme. We also noticed that this used a lot of imagery, a lot of sight. It appealed to our, uh, our sight. Um, and then we also saw the alliteration here. As well as on Heavenly, we did see the metaphor. There are two metaphors, soft green purses on slim racks. Um, that isn't exactly what we see here in this flower, right? There aren't purses on racks. It's just a comparison, and remember, metaphor is a comparison without using the words like or as. And then we also see the other metaphor, which is uh, see my heavenly lavender muffins baking in the sun. Really, in reality, it is also just a comparison because it's there's not really any muffins baking here. Um, it's just showing how they could be like them it looks kind of like them or or you know it's just a comparison and then we have um uh, of course our rhyming words as well and alliteration here we have steeped cicadas and screaming so we went over that um and then in our journal we finished writing give me one second in our reading journal, we finished writing our word webs for butterfly eyes. So yesterday we had, let me zoom out a little bit, tender excreted and vessels. And then now we're going to have steeped and ultraviolet. So make sure you finish that. Make sure you write all of those down. Okay. On the next page, we started writing our star stem questions. We were starting to discuss them, but we didn't get to finish um, putting in the, the answers that we thought were correct. There are seven questions in total, so make sure you do that. Um, after that, I just wanted to to let you all know that today it is rainbow words for homework. So we write the word one time and then we write it again in different colors, okay? So make sure you do that for homework, your spelling words homework. Okay, you should have already uh, written this on Monday. Okay, so that wraps up reading Writing again, we just continued with our writing um, on the dream. I've had only very few turn this in, so please make sure to write about your dream that you have and explain why it's so important to you and what you're going to do to achieve it. Okay, very, very important that you do this. Okay, for math, we went over our homework yesterday, which was on page um, 41. So we did 40, 41, and today's homework was page 42. Um, let me go ahead and open that up.
Today's homework will be page 42. So make sure you do that. Again, it's just fact families and it's all the way down. The only extra step is that you're adding the missing factor there. So this is page 42, today's homework. Um, and then in our math journal, we continued writing uh, arrays and area models and of course the traditional way of multiplying. So we finished this comparing it to page 53 that we had done um, earlier this week. And then we continued with this one here. Okay. Um, this was just another example that I gave. Just make sure you do the aerial model. We have a rectangle and then we multiply 10 by 10. We have to break up the two numbers. So 17, we have to break it up into 10 and 7, 14, we have to break it up into 10 and 4. Always try to break it up into 10s. So we have 10 plus 4 and then 10 plus 7. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 4 is 40. 7 times 10 is 70 and 70 7 times 4 is 28. We add that total up and that is 238. And then we have the simpler way, which is, um, well, it's a different way, two by two digit multiplication. And we got that same answer. Over here, we did a sketch of another one. This is uh, another way of showing the array or the sketch of 13 by 12. Okay, so this is another way that we know about um, how to multiply using the array and sketch. And then we have our area model here. We have another example of that. Same idea with breaking up the 13 and the 12. Uh, make sure we always include that 10 or that 20, that way it won't be too difficult for us to multiply. And then we did the normal format for multiplication. Okay, after that, we, um, we got to do only a bit of our science. Let's see here. So we did get an introduction on the next page, which is generating electricity. I did post some videos on there. This is page 250 in Science Fusion. I did post some videos on there about how, what are the different forms of generating electricity and that's through the hydroelectric dam, windmills, and there are other forms as well. Um, and that was it for science. For social studies, we started reading about the San Jacinto battle, where of course Texas was victorious. Um, I thought it was very, very interesting for uh, the students to learn about this because this will be presented later on uh, throughout their school years. So starting on page 198 in my world, all the way to page 202, that's where we uh, left off and hopefully we'll finish that off tomorrow. And that was it today, boys and girls. Um, please do not hesitate to ask questions. Again, I am always here from 2.45 to 3.45 after school if you wanna just join in and get some one-on-one -on -one instruction with me. I am more than willing to help you out. See you all tomorrow.